on the hill today for the Giants will be the veteran right-hander Jordan Hicks making start number five. He's been fantastic. 2 and 0 with a 157 ERA with 23 innings. He's allowed 15 hits in those 23 innings. Hicks 6'2, 220 pounder. He's 27 years of age in his seventh year at the big league level. Marte in the series, the six for 13. And the 0-2 delivery is on its way, and it's a bouncing ball to Wade. Wade to Hicks covering, and that's how this game gets started. 3-2. And Corbin works a walk on base ahead of alert is Gary L. Jr. Corbin Carroll leads from first to pitch. There's a ground ball toward the middle, not hit hard. Over to his left, Ahmed. The second one, the relay to first. Double play. Inning over. Now the Giants with Lee, Wade, and Flores do up. We go to the last of the first. Nothing, nothing. And here is right-hander Slade Ciccone. A call from AAA Reno today and answering the call to replace the injured barrel, Kevin. Yeah, you see his numbers in Reno this year. A 2-2 two and two record in his four starts. Any ERA in the Coast League under five is pretty good. He struck out 23 batters in 19 and two-thirds. Swing and bunt. Tough play. Suarez was in. Bare hand play and Gino makes it nicely done there. Hey Eugenio Suarez. It's a swing and butt right off the end of the bat. Sacconi clearly getting down on his belly to clear a throwing lane that time for Gino Suarez who makes a real nice barehanded play to get the first out. And Slade Sacconi a good start with a changeup gets his first strikeout quickly two down one and two on Wilmer Flores. And there it is Slade Sacconi with a changeup a slider a fastball Jock Peterson stands in now the pitch and that hit him way off the inside with a splitter and Jock Peterson would have been ball four anyway but a little less painful for Jock. That's the second time now Suarez has been hit. Uh, that's the last thing that Hicks wanted to do. I mean, this is two free passes and now he's got his back up against the wall. Little tapper and they're going to go to third. That's a dangerous play. I mean they had a chance to get a double play. Pavin Smith is not a fast runner. So that's two walks and two hit batsmen so far by Hicks. Juarez at third, Smith at second, and Moreno's at first. Here is McCarthy. Five hits in his last five games. Jake hits it deep the other way. Conforto backing up to the warning track. Juarez at third. Here he comes. And McCarthy gives the Diamondbacks the lead. Harvey guy for Jake, and it's 1 0. They have a run. They still don't have a hit. Slade Sicconi, a 1 2 3 first with a couple of strikeouts. Deep to center. Corbin Carroll backpedaling to the track, and he's got it over his head. Corbin Carroll, a leaping grab in center, takes extra bases away from Michael Conforto. But Conforto gives this ball a ride. Corbin looked like he had a beat on it and then has to sprint back to the warning track to make that leaping catch right in front of the 391 mark. Nice play. Carried pretty deep out there. Slade Ciccone certainly thankful. A little roll over to second. And let's not overlook what Slade Ciccone is doing here, making very short work of the Giants. Slade Ciccone, a spot start for the injured Merrill Kelly. Six up, six down. He's got two strikeouts already, all on fewer than 20 pitches. And ahead of Estrada, 0 and 1. This is hit fairly deep left center. Guriel and Corbin Carroll to the warning track. Look out below. Another near collision out there in the Diamondback outfield. I think Corbin got it. Yeah. Yes, he did. Corbin ended up with it. It's the third time. I remember Corbin Carroll on back to back days collided with Jake McCarthy out there in right center. Now he just ducks under Lourdes Guriel in left center field. Off the side of the mound, and once again, Slade Ciccone making very short work of this Giants lineup. He is perfect through three and has a 1 0 lead. Both guys have no hitters. Uh, Hicks, 68 pitches, four walks, two hit batsmen in a box, and Ciccone, 23 pitches, and he's nine up, nine down in it. 3 2 to Jake. Rolls through for the game's first hit. It bounces into right center. McCarthy, who had the RBI in the second, has a two out single in the fourth. Jung Hu Lee leads off the fourth against Slade Ciccone. And that got him. First base runner today for the Giants is Jung Hu Lee. This hangs up in center. Can of corn for Corbin Carroll. And Wade is retired, one away. Wilmer sends it up pretty deep into the right center field corner. Jake McCarthy curls in front of that one to haul it in. There's a little tapper. Slade is on it. Little stumble, recovers, and takes it himself. And he has thrown four no hit innings and has a 1 0 lead in San Francisco. Matt Chapman leads off the Giant fifth. Right there, Slade Ciccone spots that fastball and rings up Matt Chapman. Third strikeout for Slade. Little tapper hit slowly, third base side, fielded right behind the bag by Suarez. The hurried throw to first is not in time. And the speedy Estrada gets an infield hit, the Giants' first hit of the game. If Yaz could get hold of one and hit his first home run of the year, the Giants would go ahead. Swing and he hits a high drive to right field. Back onto the warning track, back at the wall, and goodbye! A home run! A soaring two-run homer 
onto the porch out there above the Willie Mays wall and he has put the Giants ahead. The infield single followed by Yastrzemski's first home run of the season. Two to one Giants. Now we're used to seeing balls get knocked down to right field in this ballpark. The prevailing wind blows in from right and if anything he got a little push on that one. Uh, this is a crazy game. It did. Left hander Eric Miller worked a one two three sixth inning here yesterday his 11th appearance of the year. Jock Peterson the former Giant leads off the sixth. And Jock yeah. lines it into that right field corner. Jock on his 32nd birthday today. Headed for second with a stand up double. In the hole, backhanded by Nick. Can't handle it. Tough play for Ahmed deep in that hole. And Suarez is aboard. First two have reached against Miller. Walker, lazy fly to right center. Lee call off, off Yastrzemski. Jock will tag. And Suarez tags up as well. Play at second. And Gino is safe. And Bob Melvin going to challenge the save call at second. Dan Merzel, the umpire, hustled over there. That looked like he was going to be a dead duck there. Fairly shallow right center. Aggressive tag right there from Suarez. But this is an enormous play in this game. After review, the call in the field stands. The runner is safe. San Francisco. Yeah, it's too close. So on the fly ball by Walker, Peterson goes to third, Suarez to second, and there's one out for Gabby, who with a base hit can give the Diamondbacks the lead back. Up the middle and through into center. Jock Peterson scores. Here comes Suarez. Throw from Lee is not in time. Gabriel Moreno makes it 3 2 Diamondbacks. Boy, Gabby, good grinding at bat there. Finally got something he could get the barrel on. Smacks it right back up the middle of the field. Third hit for the Diamondbacks, the second in this inning after the Peterson double. Gabby drives in two. Here's Jake McCarthy. Swing and a miss, strike three. The throw to second, the tag, and he's out, and the inning is over. But the damage has been done. The D backs are right back ahead. Diamondbacks trying to get out of Dodge with a four game split and they have a 3 2 lead as Ryan Thompson is on to face the top of the order here. Lee on the move the throw got him. What a great throw once again by Gabriel Moreno man is he quick behind the plate and he's got a strong arm on top of it. Usually guys that are really quick do it because they don't have a strong arm. Wilmer to left Lourdes has got it. Gurriel tackles that one in the outfield for the out and Thompson is out of the eighth inning. It is Nick Avila who comes in to pitch for the Giants his sixth appearance as big leaguer trying to keep this a one run deficit against the bottom part of the order and Moreno bidding for one more drops in front of Conforto Gabby on board for the third time today two singles and a walk and a base hit leads off the ninth Jake squares and Chapman picks it up goes to second and throws it into center. Gabby heads for third Chapman scooped it up in front of Avila and tried to throw across his body and it went way into center and the Diamondbacks now with no outs have runners in the corners in a one run game. Here is Kevin Newman the shortstop. Got him. They're going to say he fouled it on the play. Bailey doesn't think so. Well, it's not a reviewable play. It is. This is a frustrating play. Knuckle curve ball straight down bite. He's trying to bounce that ball at home plate. I mean he actually does it. Jake holds it first. Newman with a base hit. Moreno will score. McCarthy digging for third. Jake's going to get there. And Kevin Newman's at second base. It's 4 2 Diamond Ben. And Melvin is still barking. It's too sure water. And he's been ejected. Well, they're talking about the noise that Melvin did not think that that foul ball made because he didn't think it was touched. Here is Cattell Marte. Infield still in for the Giants. Base hit brings home two more. Deep left center. It's carrying for Lee. Porto has it. He spins and throws. McCarthy coming home. Newman tags. And it's 5 to 2. RBI for Cattell Marte. And we are tuned into Ginkle Vision. Here is the right hander, Kevin Ginkle. 1 0, 3 saves, his 10th appearance. Lined into the gap. And Chapman's got at least a pair, and that's where he'll stay. Sharply hit grounder right to the shortstop, Newman, who knocks it down and throws to first in time for the out. And San Francisco with one out remaining. So the last hopes for the Giants rest on the shoulders of Tyro Estrada. Swings and lines a base hit in the left field. Going for the diving catch on a sinking ladder, Guriel, and it spins by him all the way to the wall. Chapman scores, and into second is Tyro Estrada, and it's 5 to 3, Arizona. One ball and two strikes on Mikey Stremski. Got him. Kevin Ginkle shuts the door, and the Diamondbacks salvage a four game series split. They win the finale 5 3.